The internet is wilding on natural skincare. Look at this. But can it actually take your skin from this to this? Let's try to make some sense out of it. Now, ever heard of aloe vera? If I had to throw every single skincare product away and keep just one thing and use it for the rest of my life, this would be the thing. It's a list of several skincare products that have those juicy ingredients that solve these skin problems. And what's insane is that Hello Vera has it all. I'm just saying this, it has salicylic acid, antioxidants, all the vitamins that your skin loves, and it promotes the production of hyaluronic acid and natural retinol, and it boosts collagen production, and it is antibacterial. You want to get rid of acne scars, dark spots, fine lines or wrinkles or maybe you want a super hydrating juicy moisturizer. Or you want to get softer glowier skin. Who knew a plant's got your back? Did I just prove a point? The only difference? It's safer than most skincare products, unless you are allergic to it. But because it's safe for almost all skin types, cute people like me who have combination skin or sensitive skin and are absolutely confused because nothing seems to work out for them, here you go. It's a very small investment in yourself, yet it does so much. You can use it just as a moisturizer or make a cute little weekly face mask with it. Mix it with other juicy stuff like a bit of honey, yogurt, raw milk or matcha or green tea. Not everything all at once though, you can allow it to sit for 10 minutes before you rinse it with warm water. But throwing juicy face masks on your face can only help you so much when your diet is a mess. Your skin loves vitamin A, C, E and antioxidants. So when it comes to skincare, almonds and other nuts and seeds are super underrated. Eat your vegetables guys, don't forget fruits, strawberries. Also, ever heard of lemon water? Well, guess what? It does not only work for weight loss. It has vitamin C and antioxidants, so it detoxifies your system, so you're gonna notice a lot less frequent breakup. And it boosts collagen production, so that means less wrinkles and fine lines. Again, works like magic. You can also try matcha or green tea. So we've got the nutrients right, and we have fed our skin with what it craves, but is that enough? Hell no! You need to cut the crap out of your diet first. If you're eating a pizza and you tell me that skin is all about genetics and there's nothing you can do about it, mm. what? Sugar and refined carbs damage collagen production and summon breakout, period. Cutting down on these two for 30 days can single-handedly change your skin for better. Are you willing to do that? Also, if you need three cups of coffee to function as a product of human being on a day-to-day -day basis, coffee opens the door to a lot of skin problems. So cut the coffee and grab the matcha, stay hydrated and drink plenty of water. Not too much though. If you drink too much water, you, you die. But if you're not hydrated, so is your skin, which means more breakouts. Dipping your face in ice water for 4 rounds or 15 to 20 seconds reduces excess oil production, redness, puffiness and tightens your pores slows down skin aging and also helps you calm your nerves down. So the possibility of you having any future breakouts becomes lower than the ice water's temperature itself. Though don't overdo it, you'll end up drying your skin out. Also, if you're thinking about rubbing ice on your face with your bare hands right now, don't do it. You'd be asking for pimples if you do that. And let's talk about some science, shall we? Since cold water tightens your pores, bacteria and dirt can get trapped in your pores. So make sure before washing your face with cold water, you wash it with lukewarm water. Why lukewarm water? Doing so opens up your pores and removes any dirt that might be clogged inside your pores. Also pro tip, lukewarm water helps in better absorption of any skincare products products that you may be already using, helping them work better. Actually, most products are designed to be used with lukewarm water so it's the best temperature to wash your face with. You only wash your face with hot water in case you do want to damage your skin barrier and strip off all the natural oils to dry your skin out. Don't do it. The next thing you can try is using a face steamer which opens up your pores and softens those blackheads and whiteheads which makes it much easier to get rid of them. But what if you've done everything and your skin is still a disaster? If you're constantly stressed and sleep deprived, your skin barrier kind of has a hard time trying to hydrate itself and produce collagen which means dull and dry skin and wrinkles. But we can't really help if work and school constantly require us to be stressed and sleep deprived all the time. Or can we? Try exercising. It's free 99 Exercise will not only help you with stress and sleep but it also increases the blood flow to your skin and better delivers oxygen and nutrients to your skin 
and promotes collagen production, which keeps your skin healthy and glowing. Bonus, you look younger. So post-workout glow is actually not bluff. It's freaking real. But do make sure you wash your face right before and after the workout. Otherwise, all the dirt would seep right to your pores and we know what happens next. The chances of you breaking out after watching this video are rather slim. Unless you're making some of these skincare mistakes that most people do. Popping your pimples is not cool. Hell no. You're likely to push some of what's inside it deeper into your skin, increasing inflammation and making it worse than it was before. Also, there's no using any products that contain sulfur and other stuff like that. Throw those away. And if you touch your face too often, don't. Use a clean towel or maybe just air dry your skin after washing and make sure you're not using any makeup or hair care products that cause acne. Also, don't sleep or exercise with makeup on and don't overwash or over scrub your face. In case you are investing into products, don't use too many products together. And make sure you check if they are meant to be used together or not. There are some ingredients that don't like to see each other or else they fight on your face. Also, don't blindly use trending products from TikTok. Do your research beforehand, check the ingredients and make sure you have a good reason to put them on your face. Moral of the story, your skin likes simplicity. But anyways, did I mention you should stay hydrated? You should drink this.